this particular project, Bermuda Estates Mobile Home Park, uh, started with uh, complaints that we got about the condition of the park. Uh, we started working with the original property owner trying to bring the property into compliance. It was pretty bad. There was, I'd say, the majority of the properties in here had some uh, number of violations. Unsafe structures, either they had deteriorated to the point of being unsafe or they had a lot of construction that had been done without permits. First off, there was two fires that occurred in the park. The prior owner, uh, I think, was a little more interested in the bottom line than uh, producing and maintaining a good community for the families that live here. This is, this is a family community. We've been working um, on this park for at least 10 years, including paying for rollback dumpsters to come in to have debris removed from the park. And the county actually funded that through our community and the development funds. This is a very interesting project and it took several years for it to, to, to come together. As you know, there was a prior owner, probably not the, the best owner that you, could, that you could have. As you heard from others, there was a fire here that brought the issue to everybody's attention inside the county. That's an exciting project because this community, it was a distressed community, good hardworking people that just needed some help to revitalize the community. During that process, uh, the park was sold to Project Homes and they have been a tremendous partner with the county. We had an opportunity to purchase the Bermuda States Manufactured Home Park. This was a park that's been here since the 70s. Um, had a lot of code violations, a lot of infrastructure deficiencies. The county had been working with the previous owner trying to get those addressed. The previous owner put it up for sale and then we had the opportunity to purchase it. I wanted a nonprofit owner because I knew they would take care of the park. And as you can see from the interior here, they've done a really good job in, in, in creating what is a sustainable and long lasting product for the folks who currently live here and future residents. This has been about a little more than a two-year journey for us here at Project Homes um, where we have really kind of gone from ground zero and, and, and dug in to see, see what the limits and the boundaries are of, of this industry. It was really good that we were able to partner with Project Homes uh, as a really uh, great owner that could see the potential in this community and the families that live here and start bringing in really good quality uh, housing units our goal was to come in, utilize the density of the existing parks, harness the community that's already here, and figure out a way to get these units to hold their value and last like a regular house. We have access to federal block grant dollars, CDBG dollars as a matter of fact. So I was able to set aside some money to actually help with the acquisition of the park, as well as some of the rehab, as well as some of the infrastructure as well. So we were really able to make use of the federal funds and something that you're looking at today that I think is a wonderful addition to the county. Manufactured housing is a new opportunity for us as we explore options for affordable housing. Affordable housing is a, is a critical need uh, throughout Virginia, not just in Chesterfield. And the old ways of trying to solve it don't work. Uh, that's been proven time and time again. And I think uh, what we got going on here is a, is a step in the right direction and potentially a solution that's going to be used not just in Chesterfield, but maybe statewide, uh, what they've got planned. So we're, we're really looking forward to being part of that and helping them uh, fulfill their vision. So we are in a affordable housing crisis. We have been forever. I think I've heard that as long as I've been doing this. And we have to look at different ways to create and preserve affordable housing. Mobile homes are a vital uh, affordable housing option in Chesterfield County. We have 20 mobile home parks that include 1,659 mobile homes in mobile home parks in Chesterfield County. And it's the county's goal and effort to make sure these are livable communities. You know, manufactured parks just couldn't be ignored anymore. We needed to, to, to really take a look at them and see how they could be part of the affordable housing continuum. We want to make sure that we have enough affordable housing for folks to live in in Chesterfield County. Success for us is going to be complete retention of everybody in the park. It was very important for us to preserve the existing housing, prevent displacement from happening, because a lot of folks who live here don't have the resources to live someplace else, as a matter of fact. So that was really what was the, the urgent need. This park had some vacancies when we bought it. We've put the new units on those vacant lots. They're not uh, available to anybody outside the park. We're really focusing on the people in the park first. The goal is to try and get people to purchase these units. In fact, they're doing 
uh, a lot of community engagement right now to find out whether or not people are interested in owning their own home. So we did a community engagement process and we took as many applications as we could from, from the folks here and people can apply to purchase a new home, keeping their payment right where their existing one is. Um, or they could apply to have repairs done to their house to address the code violations and safety violations. Some of these units really are worth keeping here and, um, and more importantly, it's what's right for the residents and, and, and what they, what they w would like. So um, I think a greater portion of the residents will ultimately um, opt to get one of these higher quality units, but we are also offering free repairs for those um, who uh, want to keep their unit as is. It was a wonderful working relationship both internally inside the county among the planning department, the building department, community enhancement department, and the county attorney's office to bring this to bear. We all were looking to do the same thing. It's not often that you work inside a government where many departments work in lockstep with one another. And it's also very rare and very wonderful to have an external partner like a Project Homes who was willing to step into the, into the void, so to speak, and help us make this dream happen. It does have a great deal of potential that we're already realizing with these first couple of units that they've got in here. Over the next three to five years, this park should see tremendous improvement. Um, and I just want to make sure that people know that the county is supportive of projects like this. We want to make sure that this type of uh, project is available.